it was not long after uh, the tragedy of 9-11, the wars in Afghanistan, Iraq, and, uh, and I was feeling, you know, maybe the greatest conflicts in the world today are among the children of Abraham. So maybe we need to do something about it. And, and being an anthropologist, I've always been aware of the, the huge power of, uh, of stories, of identity. And so I, I came back to the story of Abraham and said, you know, isn't it curious? I mean, if Abraham were alive today, his heart would be breaking to see how some of his children are treating each other. And the story of Abraham and the journey he took 4,000 years ago with his family through the heart of the Middle East is the most widely shared origin story. And what does it remind us? It reminds us that we're all, that we're all one, in fact, and therefore we need to treat each other with kindness, with respect, with dignity, with, with justice. And to me, that's the essence of the path. To me, the power of walking is huge. Somehow when you walk together, you know, you're side by side. All my life I've worked in the area of negotiation, and you're kind of face to face, which is beautiful. But there's something powerful about walking side by side, shoulder to shoulder in the same direction. You know, if I'm face to face with you, and you get up close, people feel threatened. But if I'm shoulder to shoulder with you, even if our shoulders are touching, we, do, we, f we don't feel threatened. We can walk together in the same common direction. There's no problem in the world that can't be solved with a good walk in some ways. Uh, people don't fight when they walk. And so the, to marry the power of walking with the power of story, and then with a third power, which is the power of hospitality which is the soul of the essence of Abraham, is that his tent was open in all four directions. He received strangers and treated them with kindness. This is an amazing walk. Can you imagine stumbling on an old monastery? The image of Palestine that's given in the Western media is a place of great violence, great insecurity, and uh, even uh, just physically not that beautiful. And <laughs> the amazing happen? thing about taking this walk is you realize just how safe you feel, how welcomed you feel, <laughs> and how beautiful, unbelievably beautiful, the patches of countryside actually are. For the last three or four decades, I've been a student of human conflict. And one thing I've noticed is that as long as conflicts may seem to last, paths outlast conflicts. I am absolutely confident that people will be walking Abraham's path long after the conflicts in this region right now have, have changed, have transformed. There's a saying from a very famous Palestinian poet by the name of Mahmoud Darwish, which essentially says, geography trumps history. The land itself, the cultural memory of Abraham, the hospitality, the, the land itself is older than any history of, of conflicts. If I was a future anthropologist looking back at this era, I would say we're in the era of the human family reunion time when all the different tribes on the planet are in touch with each other thanks to the communications revolution for the first time in human history. And like many family reunions, it is not all peace and light. There's a lot of conflict, there's a lot of uh, intolerance, there's a lot of ignorance, there's a lot of resentment, there's injustice. And so the question is how do we get along? And to me there's perhaps no more important quality needed now since we're all strangers with each other in this little village than to be kind to fellow strangers. And that to me is the essence of Abraham. That's the message of Abraham. And to me, that's the essence of the path.